Hey, what's up? I am walking through my neighborhood, heading to the bike shop. Had to fix not one, but two bikes. Um, so I'm on the way to pick up one bike and fix the second. And uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> now I wouldn't say I'm tired, but I, I only, I like to sleep like eight hours of sleep. And um, unfortunately, I only got like five or whatever, so. And I was out to like 5 a.m. So I think I think between not getting the hours that I wanted to sleep, and also um, it being five o'clock when I finally went to sleep, I'm in the vibration that I'm in now. So I'm walking through. We got the <laughs> we got the fire department over here. I guess it's been a call to duty. So, here they are, and it's kind of noisy, but that's what it is in the Lower East Side, you know? Daily, what's today? Tuesday. So, today is Tuesday. I'm living my life and sharing it with you, and I want to do a track, I mean a song without the track. So, I'm going to give you the acapella. Oh, wait, I, I've, got, I've got some like hair like, sticking out. Woo! All right. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm going to go into this park and do it. Matter of fact, just to kind of like take a moment, you know. Hey, little bird. Sorry, there's a little bird on the floor. On the ground. Um, all right, cool. I'm going to chill over here by the, the fire truck that you probably hear in the back. Wow, something's pretty big. Because there's one. All right, let me show you what's going on. Is there's one, two, three. There's like four fire trucks, and I just like pulled into a to a park, which is funny because I literally never came into this. <laughs> I've been in this neighborhood for a minute, but I never came into this park ever. This is just not where I would go. But um, it seemed appropriate. It's kind of peaceful here. And um, I want to take a moment with you, so I'm giving myself a moment in a nice, peaceful place. All right, that was a lot of buildup for just this one acapella I want to drop on you. Um, it's called High Off Light. So I'm going to spit it for you, get all the stuff out of my teeth, get some lighting. All right, there we go. How am I feeling right now? I'm feeling super distracted. There's like so much, I don't know. There's like, I hate the like, fact that there's these flashing lights of cars around me. It's almost like I'm in a club when I'm not. <laughs> but they're working hard. So, you know, everybody has to do their job. But well, this is my job. High off life, cut loose to gravity. I got you floating away, high off life, cut loose your gravity. I got you floating away, high off life, cut loose the gravity. I got you floating away, high off life, cut loose the gravity. Check it, sometimes I'm calm. <laughs> sometimes I'm calm. You ready? Sometimes I'm calm. Sometimes I'm panicky. Sometimes my charm alone could change humanity. Sometimes I've gone to range and through insanity. Thinking I could channel the energy of mechanically gear aligned chakras. Or is that a fantasy? One big gigantic lie, but then can it be that the alignment of the stars and planets leave pharaohs lifted out the pyramids canopy? If that's true, then banish me, mummify and sandwich me beneath the sands of time with no damaging. Things could occur, cause soon enough, gradually, I will emerge and soon wake up magically in the afterlife and tune to what's actually heaven here on earth, immersed in what's naturally beautiful, floating aerodynamically. got the line <laughs> you know what I'm saying but that's that's how it is 
float in aerodynamically in the atmosphere. So cut loose my gravity. Come on. High off like what? What? Cut loose the gravity. I got you floating away. High off like cut loose the gravity. I got you floating away. High off like <laughs> cut loose the gravity. I got you floating away. High off like cut loose the gravity. All right. The pigeons are looking at me like I have something to feed. But you know what? The only seeds I need are inside of my teeth. That's what I eat too. So I can't feed the pigeon or their crew, but they still following me. Swallowing me. Different water that they see, that's their policy, but that's not mine. I can't drink it that natural. I get it from a bottle. Am I actually somebody who wants to pay like three, four dollars for a bottle of water that's free? Damn. That's how they got us living now when days. I should be like this pigeon, even though it seems crazy that he is amazed by a chicken bone on the floor. He's eating what he has. Yo, he doesn't try to ignore the things that nature provides around him. Taking a beautiful bird bath, astounding. I'm surrounded by so many beautiful things and my freestyle is the thing that channels and brings the words to you so you can see it too. I figured I'd give you more than just one, but two verses. One was a rehearsed one, the other one wasn't rehearsed, but I just burst, son, off the top of the head like this little, little, little bird sparrow that's nurse, son, on the water. Oh, he's so cute. I used to uh, look at birds. That's what something that I love to do. You just learn about different things, maybe take you back to dinosaurs when they used to hang on this planet. If you believe that, <laughs> don't take it for granted. Yo, I feed that information to you because that's like something that I used to do like I said back in the days about two years ago I had this job as a kind of like a bird watcher but more like an urban park ranger that would spot you and make sure you didn't cross the path because these birds yo they didn't know the half about living inside this city that we have so people used to go on the path and just try to knock them down in their tractors or maybe in their car. Yo, matter of fact, uh, they had me to watch and make sure that I protected them. But yo, I respected them. So I just kept watching and looking. And that's how I learned something way over in Brooklyn or kind of like Queens, Rockaway, you know what I mean? It was so far out there. It was a beautiful thing. But now I don't work there. I just spit rhymes and I put it on freestyle and represent online. So... I hope you are uh, enjoying mine and I hope you found this time that we took to shine together powerful for you. Ha! <laughs> this is how we do. Yeah, so like I said, I only had like a few hours of sleep. I would not normally put myself on camera when I'm not prepared and like looking in my best healthy positive self, but this is a little bit of behind the scenes of what I'm doing to prepare for a festival that is happening um, tomorrow. I'm leaving out to a festival that's happening in two days. So I just wanted to like show you a little bit of behind the scenes of how I songwrite and rehearse my rhymes out loud in the street and also freestyle, which is something that I'm gonna be bringing to the festival, the opportunity for people to just be expressing themselves with no with no worries about how it's gonna come out. <laughs> just doing it, just just sharing themselves. So that's what that's what I'm about and that's what I'm sharing at the festival. And I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes of what's going down with Undercover in the Lower East Side neighborhood. Hmm, peace.